One of the biggest challenges of electric car adoption is and probably will be for a while the time it takes to recharge or refuel the car um, i myself had kind of rolled back by uh you know traveling in my plug-in hybrid that i got so i never have to wait for 45 minutes to refuel my car on a long distance trips sometimes there's also lines well there's a company that solved that problem which i believe for a while now has been the way to go. I know Tesla tried it and decided not to go with it. I think it's a mistake. Um, and I'll tell you all about it coming up next. Welcome to E4 Electric, your number one source of unbiased electric car news. If this is your first time here, well, go ahead and click on that subscribe button down there so you don't miss anything moving forward. All right, let's talk about NIO. I've mentioned this company a few times. They are making this electric SUV in China. They've already delivered a pretty good number of them. Um, looking into my notes, I believe they delivered over 5,000 of them. Um, they are looking to deliver over 7,000 of them in the uh, Q4, um, the last quarter of this year. And they're pretty confident they're gonna be able to do it. And this is a, a pretty decent car. Now, obviously they're still just selling it in China and it's a little bit easier to make a car just for the Chinese market because it doesn't have to be as well built, you know, uh, abide by as many strict regulations. But nevertheless, um, the, the price tag is under $70,000. Uh, the range is around 200 miles. I know they're claiming 300 miles, but essentially it's about 200 miles um so and and they've been selling it and it's really i mean i i like this company for many reasons um they've also just premiered on new york stock exchange and i'll tell you how their uh, stock uh, doing now in a second which means that they are also trying to cross over to the um united states but i think the reason um the reason I like them the most, I think they're finally solving this problem. And, you know, I know I said it many times, you know, yes, we got superchargers now for Tesla and the fast charging networks are coming in Electrify America uh, in the US and Ionity in Europe. But nevertheless, the, to, to refuel an electric car like a Tesla right now takes about 45 minutes or so, you know, zero to, let's say, you know, the full tank or full battery uh, to, or, or 80 or 90% of it, um, that if, if you don't have to wait. And, and I think the wait times will become a problem again at the superchargers and at some point at the alternative uh, fast charging networks as well, because I just don't see how infrastructure is going to be keeping up with all the, you know, Model 3s that are out there now and all of the new electric cars that are coming out next year. I mean, and of course there's, you know, Leafs and Bolts and uh, many other cars that are on the road right now. Um, and to me, that is pretty much a number one deal breaker for most people who just don't care. I mean, they're not tree huggers. They don't want to, they don't care about the, you know, the oil independence or, or, or environment. They just want to buy a damn car and drive it. Okay. So that is unacceptable to them, especially, you know, for the long distance. I already told you guys that I solved that problem because I didn't want to wait in line or, or, or take so much time um, driving from, um, in the Bay Area where I used to live or here in Sacramento to Los Angeles, I solved it by just getting a Chevy Volt, you know, and I know I got some, you know, got caught some slack for it, but I think um, I am now living in the real world and that's just what it is. It's just, it's just an intermediate step for it. Now, here's how Neo solved this problem and I love it. Battery swap stations, okay? Battery swap stations, absolutely genius and it does take under three minutes pretty much faster than to charge the car. And they made a huge, huge unveiling uh, this week. Um, and before I tell you what it is, let me just remind you really quickly that this video and this channel is sponsored by Evanex, the aftermarket accessories for Tesla. There is a discount code in the description of this video so you can save yourselves a few bucks. All right, so here's a picture that they've released of one of their battery swapping stations. And they've just announced that they've uh, installed 18, unveiled 18 stations in 14 locations in China. Um, and uh, I think one of them is actually right next to the Tesla supercharger, which is kind of ironic. Not as ironic when they build them right next to the gas stations, which I think is the best. I love that. I've seen quite a few supercharger locations, like literally in the same parking lot as, uh, as gas stations. So that's pretty awesome. But this is, um, this is, this is the way to go. I mean, we, we change batteries 
so many different you know flashlights and whatever else we use batteries for really quick right because it's not even a thought we either recharge them at some other point or or we just throw them away now, obviously you don't want to throw away a battery for for your car but uh th 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 this is the, just basically a solution of going in swapping it for three minutes and then going out now this also creates another great opportunity for both the manufacturer and the consumers because you can get a car and not really get a battery with it. I know um, um, I know Renault tried it uh, in Europe and I just don't think they've executed it well, but I think if they execu executed well, then you can actually have a big benefit because people can just lease their battery. And let's say this year, my job is only five miles away and I don't have any kids, so I can get a smaller battery because that's what my lifestyle is about. But let's say two years later, I have, you know, I now have a kid and maybe my new job is 30 miles away and I need a bigger battery. Well, you can, I can just upgrade my uh, lease plan and get a bigger battery. And that way also that plan also will include the uh, swapping stations. Um, and, and I think this has just solved so many problems of, of the battery prices. This, you know, the, the, the scary battery degradation uh, that people are afraid of, in some cases, very much, you know, deservingly so. I'm looking at you, Nissan Leaf. Um, and uh, it, it, it also solves the problem uh, of, you know, fast charging. Now, um, Tesla had tried it, and I actually went to one, um, uh, it was in between Los Angeles and San Francisco, and they just kind of tried it. Uh, they, they made a big show, but, you know, Elon Musk got on stage. They, they think the, they swapped two batteries on two different Teslas while this Audi A8 was gassing, which was great, you know, gimmicks. But then they gave up on it. And I thought, and now they're definitely not going to, you know, you know, continue with this technology because Model 3 doesn't even have a capacity or it's not designed for a battery to be swapped out. And I think it's a mistake. I really, it's, I think, I mean... You know, uh, even if we get to the solid state batteries that are charged very, very quickly, I think the battery swap would still be uh, um, a way to go uh, because, again, it just doesn't just solve the problem of that. Um, yeah, so I'm really rooting for, for, for this company. They have a few other press photos, uh, which are kind of odd. And, for example, here's a bunch of people just about to run over by one. Uh, but I, I don't know why they did it. But, uh, and, and yeah, don't forget, they, they premiered in New York Stock Exchange. And stock went up and then kind of down to what it you know, used to be. I think it's around uh, $1, $7 right now a share. Um, obviously, it's something that they would need to really start moving towards um, towards the North American market um, and at least prove that they can actually do it, which I don't think any Chinese automaker ever done that. Uh, and, and maybe then they will um, they will be able to get their stock a little bit up. But it does look really good. I absolutely love what they do. I probably have mentioned this before, but let me just also mention that they also have like a mobile recharge where you know, people can be have their batteries recharged while they're, you know, in the office in a meeting or whatever like this car will come over and recharge them just like people do it right now with refueling. I, I, I see that all the time here. So I overall love what they're doing. Love the fact that they now have 18 um, swapping stations and it's actually a thing. They have all of these thousands of cars on the road now. So uh, it, it, they're definitely going to be a major player uh, in China, a major competitor for Tesla. Let me know what you guys think. Meanwhile, I just want to give a quick shout out to my new Patreon, Jordan Amoth. Thank you so much, Jordan for uh, joining my uh, Patreon community and supporting the show. Of course, those who um, go with the highest tier there uh, get to watch me live, which means that you're the first ones to watch this uh, videos, a um, bunch of other perks and, and just, you know, quick and, and full access. And a lot of times, you know, my patrons kind of affect the themes and 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 what the, the show is about on, on different days by, uh, you know, uh, uh, talking to me either privately or, or through the chat right here uh, during the live show. So, uh, it, you know, thank you for supporting me. I am now a full-time independent um, YouTuber, social media creator, whatever. So I really, really appreciate that. If you want to join, go to patreon.com slash e4 electric all right looking forward to the comment section other than that see you guys tomorrow and remember to stay charged